Jesus was in the tomb, they had not been to the school of the Spirit. Amen. Are you here? Yeah. If you ever hear someone that says, Jesus spent three days in the tomb, then they're not from Cornerstone Church. Yeah. Everyone that belongs to this church realizes because you are schooled in the world, you have a free school that you can attend on a Sunday afternoon, amen. amen. And you are given the opportunity to study the scripture. Yeah. For those of you that are visiting us, those of you that have not taken the time to study the word, then I have to teach you because you cannot attend this church and be scripturally ignorant. You cannot attend this church and not know God's word. My responsibility is to teach you the word. And the saints of God say, so when we discover the answer to this question, when we find the answer to this question, then we'll realize what happened. What did the death of Jesus Christ accomplish? Why did he die? And what happened when he died? And the people said, Now the traditional church, the traditional church, that means 90% of the church believes that Jesus spent three days and three nights in the tomb. Well, what was he doing in the tomb? Some people say, listen, the crucifixion was so cruel that when they brought the body out, that body needed to rest in the Jesus needed resting in the tomb. Jesus ministered for three years in full-time ministry. Maybe Jesus needed to rest. He needed to have a rest. He worked so hard preaching the gospel. So he took a three-day holiday in the tomb. So that some people believe that Jesus was asleep in the tomb for three days. That's possibly some of you seem to be like that. I can see the guilt of your life. Some people believe that Jesus was resting after three years of arduous ministry. Some people believe that Jesus was so injured because of the crucifixion that he needed rest and medical help for three days in the tomb. Some people believe that angels and God were ministering to him in the tomb, healing his body and healing all the spine. He needed rest. He was there. What was Jesus doing in the tomb? Pastor, you are fast asleep in the tomb. Waiting, looking at the water. Is Sunday coming? Is Sunday coming? Is Sunday coming? Will my disciples come? Who's, who's going to come roll this huge stone out of the way? Some people believe that Jesus was trapped in the tomb. And he required the help of someone to come move the stone out of the way so that he could come out. If all these things are the things you were taught, or all these things are the things you assumed, then I want to tell you that assumption is the mother of all lies. Yeah. Yeah. Assumption is the mother of all and all these things on that screen are lies. Jesus was not asleep in the tomb for three days. Jesus was not resting. Jesus was not so injured that he required medical help. And neither were the angels there ministering to his body.